You're not going to put it on, are you? I have to, to protect us. But you're gonna act weird again. Don't worry, I can control it better now. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Cartoon Network shows got serious. Sector 5 is secure. Pretty quiet up here since all the people cleared out. Get used to it, my dear. This city is only the first of many. I know. For this list, we're looking at the rare occasions where Cartoon Network series suddenly got very heavy and or very intense. Which of these moments hit you the hardest? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Billy's Supposed Death – The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy I miss Billy, yo! I told you, Billy's fine. <laughs> For a show as outrageous, absurd, and off the wall as this, it was rare to ever see the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy get even remotely sensitive. One of these super occasional moments was in the TV movie Billy and Mandy's Big Boogie Adventure. Moments before the cannibal run, Boogie summons a kraken to steal and eat Billy. <laughs> Such an uncomfortable amount of time passes that even Mandy begins to believe Billy might truly be gone. Luckily, Billy finds a way out, as usual, and manages to return with a new ally just before the race begins. First the Kraken ate me and I thought I'd drown, but I kept alive by breathing my own farts. Then me and the Kraken became friends. He's really fun when you get to know him. Number 9. The Wedding – Samurai Jack Even though it took ages for us to see Jack fix the timeline, it was so satisfying to finally see Samurai Jack come to a thrilling conclusion. We just didn't expect it to end on such a mournful note. Granted, this was something Jack didn't seem to think through. With Aku gone and the timeline fixed, Jack and Ashi decide to get married. Everything changes when Ashi collapses during the ceremony. As one of the daughters of Aku, Ashi cannot exist in a time where Aku never ruled, and so she is erased from existence. At least the mood picks up a bit in the show's final moments. Number 8. Picture Day – Dexter's Laboratory It's just a little bit different. Not having a good self-image can be a serious problem growing up, as it can lead to kids developing low self-esteem and lacking confidence. Dexter's Laboratory touches upon this through a simple premise. It's picture day at school, and Dexter doesn't think he's as photogenic as everyone else. I'm just To ensure he looks handsome in this year's photo, he puts himself through an intense transformation, but comes out with vastly different results. We're just glad this event allowed him to learn to love the way he looks and be proud of his own unique style. I was trying to be someone I'm not, but now I know that if you just be yourself, everything will be a-okay. Number 7. Courage's Origins – Courage the Cowardly Dog Courage the Cowardly Dog wasn't the type of show to shy away from more emotional tales. Just look at the Snowman episodes. The one that hit harder than the others was actually part one of the series finale, Remembrance of Courage Past. It's here that we learned what really happened to Courage before Muriel found him. Turns out, Courage's parents were kidnapped by a deranged doctor and blasted off into space. Courage was supposed to join them, but he was the only one who managed to escape. Upon learning this, we could see how Courage developed into the easily frightened pup we've come to know and love. Oh, my poor thing. Out here all alone. Number 6. Mitch and Twiggy – The Powerpuff Girls Now, which one of you wants to volunteer, hmm? There are so many dark episodes within The Powerpuff Girls, many of which hold themes around some very adult subjects. One of these episodes, getting twiggy with it, touches upon animal mistreatment, and for adults, 
The real world parallels are way too clear. There are several instances where Mitch Mitchelson puts the class pet hamster through some harrowing trauma, and no matter how many times the girls try to stop him, he gets off scot-free. Eventually, the little brat gets his just desserts, and a valuable lesson in treating animals with kindness is delivered. And I have to admit, your solution is very creative. Number five, Mordecai and Margaret's breakup. Regular show. I got into my dream school. I really like you, Mordecai, and what we have is special. Mordecai was already going through a rough day, and all he wanted to do was officially ask Margaret to be his girlfriend at a really nice restaurant. What he got was an interrogation with the FBI and suddenly getting roped into a counterfeit scandal. Unfortunately, that was all just a distraction before the inevitable. When they're finally able to talk, Margaret tells him she's been accepted to an out-of-town school she's always wanted to go to. The start of season five shows how Mordecai has been handling the breakup, and it's not great. But the remainder of the episode shows him bouncing out of depression and struggling to get one of Margaret's sweaters back. Chicks love hoarding clothes, it's a fact. Besides, it's not even cold out. Yeah, but what if it's her favorite sweater? Come on, if she really liked it, she wouldn't have left it. No, dude. It's a heavy topic for a Cartoon Network show to explore, but perhaps it'll help younger viewers with their own struggles later in life. <laughs> Number four, adjusting to a new life. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Well, this is it. Make yourself at home. The first few episodes of Foster's are a bit of an emotional roller coaster. When Mac strikes a deal with the adoption house, Blue is left wondering if Mac truly will come to visit him every day. I'll be back. I promise. I'll be back. Hmm. If I had a credit for every time I'd heard that, I'd be a very fat rabbit. It's the first night that is the most harrowing for them both. Blue must come to terms with his new living situation, while Mac tries to adapt to a noticeably quieter home. For a child, big changes like this can really affect them and be difficult to adapt to. Though heartbreaking to watch, there's a chance many young viewers found this an unfortunately relatable moment. They said goodnight, Blue, and don't worry, Mac's coming back. Number three, Tara's Sacrifice, Teen Titans. Who else would have you, my dear? You've done horrible things, unforgivable things. Of the shows we've listed here, Teen Titans is perhaps the most serious of the Cartoon Network family. For every goofy and comedic moment, there's a heavy and serious one right around the corner. Aftershock Part 2 was especially painful to watch as we said goodbye to fan favorite hero Tara. You can't, it's too late. It's never too late. You were the best friend I ever had. Despite dancing the line between ally and villain, the Titans saw Terra as a friend, which made her sacrifice towards the end of the series so heartbreaking to watch. The plaque that Beast Boy leaves behind certainly made us ball once the credits rolled. I'll never forget you, Terra. Number two. Ice King's Origins, Adventure Time. Though it's focused more on action and excitement, Adventure Time has gotten emotional at times too. Why'd you invite ancient chubs to play basketball? Yeah! <sighs> well, he's very dear to my heart. I love him. Arguably, the most famous example is the episode Simon and Marcy, which tells of a time before the Ice King was the maniacal wizard he's now known as. Throughout the episode, we're given a glimpse at an innocent and loving relationship between a little girl and her adoptive father. I made you breakfast. It's mostly pine needles and deer guts. Oh, you're even worse. I mean, don't freak out or anything, but we need to get you some chicken soup. However, we learn that a mystical crown has slowly been corrupting Simon's mind. Eventually, Simon is forced to wear the crown once more to protect Marcy. It's a somber scene as he sings the theme song to the TV sitcom series Cheers and blasts the monsters away. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. 
A tragic tale, yes, but it's also one of the show's best episodes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eddie's Brother – Ed, Ed, and Eddie Park don't open till noon. I told you it was a teletype! Violence and slapstick humor are a common part of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but under a different context, it can mean far worse. We saw this at the end of the series finale in the TV movie Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Big Picture Show. The kids finally get to meet Eddie's brother, who Eddie has long touted as being this insanely cool person. On the contrary, he's a real jerk who humiliates Eddie every chance he gets. To our surprise, the kids actually defend Eddie and proceed to give his brother a taste of his own medicine. I made it all up, Double D. Everything about my brother was a lie. I just made things up so people would like me, think I was cool. After Eddie confesses he only put his brother on a pedestal so the kids of the cul-de-sac would like him, though, all is forgiven. Everyone loves us! We're finally in, baby! And it only took 130 episodes for specials and a movie, Eddie. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.